Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Bioshock. Today we're going to go ahead and buy something again. We're going to buy the health upgrade. The EVE upgrade, once again. We'll get our combat tonic slot. This time we'll get this one again. And then we'll get another physical and we'll get the camera. Plus, there we go. Awesome, sweet. So yeah, last episode kind of ended up in failure. Uh, majorly. I had to restart the entire game just to get it back to fit, you know, get it back to work it again because I broke it so damn hard. So, yes. I will be approaching this differently this time. Instead, I'm more prepared for you. <laughs> oh, I actually thought I killed him for a second there. That would be funny. I need to go back in the library and take care of that uh, Houdini, but I keep forgetting about it. Ah, oh, fucking cares. I mean, there's not much in the library besides, like, you know, those... There was incendiary ammo. There was all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, I guess I could probably just talk about something else that's not what happened in the last episode, which was not really like a complete failure, but it definitely was one of my most irritating moments I've ever had. Now, then again, like that doesn't happen very often. That's happened like maybe once or twice in my entire lifetime of playing Bioshock. I, I promise, it, it's, it hasn't happened that much. But it does happen randomly. Very rarely will I accidentally reload. You can tell I'm very cautious about it, you know. And if you guys noticed in uh, one of the previous episodes, like the very early episodes, I was very cautious every single time that I did not do that. And then I, I did it. <laughs> I finally did it. But, you know, it's out of my system now. Everything's good to go. You know, no problems there. So anyway, uh, I gotta admit, I actually forgot that I was even playing Survivor. Like, I, I've been going through this so well in the, like, the past few levels and stuff. It's just, it's been to the point where, like, I don't even feel like I'm playing a Survivor run anymore. Which is not a bad thing, of course not. You know, I mean, it's just, well, that's not bad and not good at the same time. Like, if I want my game to be difficult, I want it to be difficult, you know? Like, if I'm playing my game on the hardest difficulty, it's got to at least be difficult. That's just something that I've always, you know, kind of seen stuff as. You just die. You got hit by, like, two freaking trap bolts. You should be dead by now. Okay, so he's dead. We're going to take a different way this time. We're going to go down to this water. First, whip out the electric bolt if you have it. Shock the damn thing, and you'll see why in a second. They'll come up. Shock it again, because, yep, there's a lead head in there. What? What the do? Who would have guessed? Uh, what about good old telekinesis? And there's really not much in the water besides napalm. That's about it. And of course, the head splicer, so. You know, you don't want to worry about that. Uh, you can hack this door, or you can break in the way I did. Let's hack it just to get it out of the freaking way. Just so, in case I ever actually get to that part of the, the area or the level, you know, I just come back and finish up what I'm doing now. And oh my god, you people have to mow. You were mowing yesterday! For fuck's sake, people were doing. Oh my god, I'm just. I can't take it anymore. I'm just. I'm tired of this crap. It was funny. Yesterday, I went to go pick up, you know, my friend so we can go places and stuff like that and go look at things. You know, I just got. I got away from home, which was good. Of course, always good. Well, people here around my neighborhood were mowing. Like, always. Like, every single goddamn day, they just mow, and it's ridiculous. I mean, fuck, people have to mow. Well, anyway, uh, I went down to his house, and then there were, like, five people around his neighborhood just mowing their yards, and I'm like, oh, my God. David's got it worse than I do. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how can you people, seriously, I mean, what is so fantastic about mowing, anyway? What, what's the fun thing about it? Why do it constantly? Uh, anyway, um... What does... Fucking incinerate. <laughs> what exact... Okay, cheap son of a bitch. Alright. What exactly... Suchong. What do these do? These control consoles. What do they do? That. That's exactly what they do. Basically pointless crap. Like, if you get surrounded by, you know, enemies, I guess, you could probably use it, but, you know, like, why even bother with it in the first place? You've really got no point in bothering with it. All right, let's see. I don't think we've done everything down here. I really don't think we've done the we've done the conversion. I know we did that. 
area. So let's go up here. Some of the old Tom whiskeys. Uh, would you just get out of my face? Seriously, they're always like right in your way. That's what I hate about hack or security bots in this game. Can I just call it hack bots? Is would anybody get pissed if I just call it hack bot? No. Okay. Well, anyway, like they're always just in the way, and it's just it's so freaking irritating. Let's whip out the good old this. It probably won't do any damage, depending, you know, because he's he's an electric, fleshed, uh, asshole, pretty much. Thug Spicer. So, yeah. Oh, God damn it. Would you just stop for, like, one second and die? Okay. We're good now. Um, check, check. I like to, uh, I'm not gonna, again, I told you guys I'm not gonna skip forward in this. Due to the fact that I feel like you need to see what can happen in Bioshock, what things can go wrong, and what happens when they go wrong. I want you guys to enjoy what I'm enjoying about Bioshock, and that is just playing it, you know. I mean, yeah, I did fuck up, but I, I went back to the entire level, that's about it. These levels are not very big, if you think about it. Now, if it was a level like, maybe like Apollo Square, I probably would have changed my mind. But... This is different. Okay, so go to the isolation area. Make sure you do, because I usually forget this little area, too. Um, Mr. Big Daddy walking around there thinks he's all tough shit. I don't know why he's even here. I usually come here last, but I really feel like today I'm just going to come here first. I'm sure the boots walking around is really, really bugging people right now. I'm guessing it does. Hacker's Delight 3, the ultimate development of the Hacker's Delight line. This will make every hacker a healthy hacker. No. If I had an extra gene, or, yeah, if I had an extra physical tonic slot, I probably would have done so, but I do not. Therefore, I do not care. Actually, funny thing is, when you get the full Big Daddy suit on, you'll see that the enemies just walk right past you. And it's awesome. I love just watching people just walk right past me in this game. It's like, I don't want to fight you, so go on your merry way. Eh, 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 eh. It's funny how they do all these foot things. and these... Why Why even do backflips? Why? Or cartwheels, or whatever the hell you're doing, backflip things. What good does that make? You're just going to get hit in the face anyway. Makes no sense. That's the thing about this game. This game... It's not supposed to make sense, but you know, like, I love it. I mean, that, that's just good enough. That, that's the point, right? Why play a game you don't like? Or why get into a franchise you know you're not going to like? It's just... it That pisses me off. People do that crap. Alright. Just... I have so many pet peeves about gaming, it's not even funny. Mainly just the people who play games. There's, I know there's a variety of different people that play games. There's lots of people that play video games. You know, male or female, doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter what you are in general. If, you know, like if you like playing video games, kid, adult, old, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. Just, I, I just hate when, well, certain ways, people's ideas come across, I guess, of gaming. There are people out there who just specifically play, like, shooter games and stuff like that. I guess that's fine, considering the fact that, you know, you can play whatever you want to play. And, you know, there's people out there who just play constantly RPGs and shit like that, which... Yeah. It's like, just... Speaking of the first-person shooter things, like, just at least expand your variety once in a while. At least try... A hack and slash. At least try um, an RPG if you're playing just just shooter games. You know, at least pick up a text-based quest game or something. For God's sakes, just try something. And that's the thing about me is like I've always tried something different. I always wanted to try something different. I never. I I can't play the same kind of gaming over and over again. Even though I love hack and slash games, like that's obvious thing right there to say but I, I usually fall out of the mood eventually like 
I usually get in like a different mood like every month or so I feel like it is. I don't know if it's exactly always a month or so, but I usually end up falling out of a mood eventually, so. Like right now, I don't, I'm not really in a shooter mood, I'm still in a hacker slash mood. I just really love Bioshock. It's combat system, it just, it's just perfect for a game like this, a first person game like this. It's just perfect. There's nothing that can beat it. My eyes. <laughs> I think I actually missed a few things, didn't I? I think I fucked up hard. That usually tends to happen quite a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm missing a big daddy because, again, they just... I don't think they're glitched out. I think they just don't want to get a little sister for some reason. It's starting to piss me off. It's starting to, like, piss me off. <laughs> and it's kind of strange that the security camera actually knows you when the door is opening, which is kind of lame. So does it, like... Constantly have somebody on, you know, radar, even if it's like Andrew Ryan, does that constantly have somebody waiting to be shot down? That's just the part I don't understand. Alarm Expert 2, are you hex still being interrupted by alarms? Then you need Alarm Expert 2 today! A hex, a hex smart gene tonic. God, we need some more fucking engineering tonics like now. Alright. Let's get our layer next thing changed. A little buck, some film. Some stuff, there's a cabinet, you can make some stuff there. Let's make as many things as we can. Let's just pile dry this place. Become a big daddy. It's funny, like, every single time I come here, I always just destroy this exact vending machine with this crap. Not this time, though. Not this time. Let's hack it, just because I said so. Abbott Inventor! Oh, I finally got that. Okay. There's actually going to be um, a lot of people in here. So, if you're smart, you can either just completely avoid them. This is why I usually come here last, last. I mean, I like going to the helmet part last, but I usually just like coming here last because it makes more sense. It's funny how I don't even know what that liquid stuff is. I think it's just magma or something like that. Oh my god, you really have to blend stuff now. Ah! First people are mowing, now people are blending. Of course. Go figure. Actually, I think all these enemies are. No, there's a lot of heads. I should probably make them follow me. At least. That's what I'll probably just do. Come here. Come here. Just die, dude. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're not even a... Now you fucked everything up. Should have killed him first, not the leadhead. I didn't kill the leadhead yet. I don't think. There he is. Hey, you are, jackass. Oh, I'll kill you. Die. Thank you, Gavna. Okay. Now you've got a little sister, and now you're going to pay for having a little sister by your side. Oh, okay. I gotta be honest, shooting this thing off really hurt your eyes. Does it hurt anybody else's eyes? Because, like, it really hurts mine. Look at that crap. By the way, this little door right here, if you electric it, you should be able to walk through it. I think. Actually, I don't think you can. Well, there's a room in here that really is kind of screwy, and I, I just... Triangle! <laughs> Making sure this time I actually press the triangle. Should I save it just in case? No? Okay. Like, saving is not really gonna matter at this point in time. Fuck it. Waste all it is. Oh! That does work. Okay. I just forgot about it working. I knew it worked. I just was thinking it wasn't. Shutting that down is not gonna do any good, because if you got electric gel on... Or electric flesh... Electric gel? Yeah, if you got electric gel on. If you got electric flesh on, it's not really gonna matter, because... You'll walk right through the electricity anyway. Alright. So we're going to make sure that we definitely check through every door here. I'm going to go through here and there's actually going to be a security camera. This time security cameras do not notice you since you are a big daddy. Which is a good thing. Trust me. Security cameras are your worst enemy in this game. It, it feel, they feel like the worst enemy at least. Actually we'll go there in a second. Turrets don't notice you until you start, until you, until you start shooting at them. Which... That one should have shot back. I don't think they do anyway. There's actually a uh, diary right here. Pick it up. This one's by Su Chong. It's called Extra, Extra Munition. Yeah, Munitions. Uh, go ahead and shoot up these spider splicers. If I would actually hit the damn guy. Right in the head, too. Wow. Well, actually, it took me like three shots to get him right in the freaking head, but I still got him. But I think there's uh, one more power to the people station we still have left. Which is actually nearby. Funny fact. It's funny, I'm not even paying attention to where the frickin' quest arrow is anymore. I'm just going to where the hell I want now. 
I mean, I tend to do that when I play Bioshock anyway, so... You know, it's whatever, right? I probably should have saved... Ah, fuck it. Not saved as in saved, but, like, I probably should have saved those auto-hacks. But, I mean, I built, like, ten of them back there in that other <laughs> inventing station, so... Fuck it. I'm gonna go through this one. There's actually gonna be two uh, rocket turrets. Yeah, they do activate. I just probably killed them fast enough. Oh, fuck it. Incendiary bolt. It's best. It's bay. Love. Die, God. Oh, damn. Send everything else flying. Alright. I mean, I knew those. I, I was predicting that was gonna happen. I didn't want it to happen, but it sure as hell did. So here's the last upgrade. Crossbow breakage chance. An automatic attention adjuster greatly reduces the chance of bolts breaking on impact. Cha-ching. I don't like this upgrade because it looks so damn big on the freaking thing. It's, just look how big that is. That thing is huge. I mean, now it looks it makes my crossbow look really huge. Weapon specialist. Yeah, you don't get a trophy for upgrading, like, all... Well, you get one for upgrading all six. You don't get a trophy for upgrading the sixth one. The sixth one is the weapon specialist, basically. So it is technically a trophy for that. You know, I really didn't have to plan another account. I just, I just chose to because why not, right? That's kind of how. That's kind of how I do my let's plays. It's like why not just play on my my turd monkey account? Just because. So this little area here. Um, this is a multi-part area. This is like two rooms worth of stuff. There will actually be stuff underneath. These little pillars. Okay, we killed him. Uh, usually there'd be stuff in these corners. Not all the time. There's actually a diary. There's a trash can. There's mines. Here's a diary. Make sure you pick that up. Marketing Gold by Andrew Ryan. Oh, man. I, I think I probably should at least finish recording this and just upload it throughout the week. That way you people have something to watch during the week. Because I understand that Mondays are just... Uh, just, they're just shit. And I, I really wish I didn't have to, you know, actually work work, but I do, sadly. For, like, the rest of my life, probably, feels like. I'm getting to the point of where it's like, why do I even bother? You know, like, why, why should I even care anymore? <laughs> I'm really starting to get to that point. Like, I just really want to stay home, like, all the time. But then if I stay home all the time... I'll get bored, you know. That's the thing I don't understand. It's like I really hate work. Like I, like I fucking hate that place. But I tend to go back for some reason. I just don't know why. I think we've done everything here, haven't we? Yes. I think so. I feel. I don't know, cause I feel like I'm missing. Of course. That's where the feeling was coming from. You're ass. You're an ass clown. It's kind of funny how in this game you're a big daddy. Nobody attacks you. Well, they'll attack. They'll beat. They'll hit you. I mean, like if you hit them, they'll hit you. But like they don't attack you because they see you as a threat. You know, instantly. No. They hit you when you hit them. But in like Bioshock 2, and I know this is gonna sound stupid for me, but you're a big daddy. They hit you because they feel like it. But I, I know why they do, but that's for a later time. Later game, later time. Uh, let's see, is that Big Daddy got a little sister near him? If he stands in place, that usually means, like, if he stands like he looks like he's guarding something, that usually means he's got something. This one apparently does not. No, he does. She's just fucking with the Big Daddy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and wipe this guy's ass. Wipe his ass out. Let's wipe these big daddies from existence already. There will be more big daddies. There's always constantly more big daddies in this game, so... Again, if you missed one little sister, you can always go back and get it. But make sure you do it at a certain point. And actually, there's a certain point you're supposed to... They want you to go back at. But we're not going to go back at that certain point. What we're going to do is we're going to go back before that point, which is after we beat Point Prometheus, we're going to go straight back. If we should be able to. I, somehow. Somewhere. There should be a way to go back, damn it. Oh, now I really fucked up. 
Uh, I think we've done everything. Diary-wise, I don't know. This is where you can see your diaries at, which... I swear to God, I think I'm missing at least five or ten of them by now. Well, we, we gotta go to the Proving Grounds, too. That would have at least something for us. So, yeah, we... we oh, yeah, we did become a big daddy. Uh, I think the Bathysphere should be up and running by now. I would think so. Here in Tonic. Oh, 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 that's what that one did. Uh, that's right. Retarded. <laughs> we are actually missing, I think, one little sister. But, you know... Can't really do anything about that when, you know... Uh, can't really go back. Necessarily. Oh my god, seriously. Okay, hold on. This is not... This is... What the fuck? Hold on, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and probably just pause it and mute it, maybe. You need to bring them out of hiding, and then they'll let you in the door. Go on, hit the vent with your wrench. So anyway, folks, I'm going to end out this episode here. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time we play some more Bioshock, and uh, I will see if I can go back. So as always, take care, everybody.